Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a personal q and I think it's been like a year. I try to not make these that often because I feel like it could be repetitive, but I haven't filmed these in a hot minute and a lot has changed in my life since the last time I filled you guys in. A lot has changed. So I posted on my Instagram stories letting you guys know that I'll be filming a Q&A and I'm gonna be answering the most asked questions. Is this dirty? No, I just look musty, cool. One of the most frequently asked questions was if I was in a relationship, and yes, I am. I have posted him on my Instagram a couple times. I did keep him a little bit secret in the beginning just because some things you wanna keep secret and like look- Little secret. And when something's new, you don't really wanna put it out there, but I did it. I know, I'm so brave. I did it. I actually got a lot of questions about our relationship, but I don't really want to just make this a relationship Q&A. If you want one like that, then definitely let me know. Maybe I'll even have him in the video. What's the biggest misconception people have about you? Big misconception is that people just think I'm a boob, and that's because I have RBF, and I don't know if it's because of my Russian culture, you know what I'm saying, my Eastern European look. If my face is relaxed, I look like I want to kill you. <laughs> I'm aware of this, and I wish there was something I could do about it. I look angry all the time if I'm relaxed, and because of that people just think I'm rude people think I'm mean I have gotten this so many times where like I become friends with someone and they always say this they go before I got to know you I thought you hated me like I genuinely thought you didn't like me and that kind of sucks because I feel like my face is preventing me from making new friends and it is so irritating <laughs> this next question I get asked a lot and it's my skincare routine my skincare routine is a long story it's a very long story I could go more in depth but basically around this time last year my back started breaking out like crazy it wasn't that bad on my face as it was on my back and when I tell you it was bad on my back like I was very insecure to show my back like if you go back a year on my Instagram or maybe even on my YouTube videos you can tell that I always avoided turning my back or my hair would always cover it or I'd always wear a jacket. I just was very insecure about that because my back just broke out out of nowhere and there was nothing I can do to change it. I went to the doctors and whatever they gave me didn't work. I tried spot treatment, I moisturized, I did all that stuff. I'm not dumb when it comes to skincare but nothing would work on my back. It was just hormonal, breaking out. My mom said she dealt with it when she was younger, so I was like, cool, this is what I have to deal with now. This next bit sounds like a commercial, and I swear to God it's not. Um, Alani New has never contacted me, and I doubt they ever will, but I mean, if you're watching this, please. I'm just kidding. But on Twitter, I started seeing people reviewing Alani New's new balance pills like they just came out with it they're a relatively new supplement brand and everybody was saying how it changed their skin there were a few people that said like it didn't help at all it made things worse but most people were like you know it did get worse for like about a month and then it cleared up and for your girl i was really desperate to try anything at this point so i went to my gnc i got balance pills and when i tell you i have two right now in my drawer like i legit have two bottles one is unopened just in case i run out and i don't have enough time to go to gnc but this these pills I love them. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love them so much. I'm so annoying. Because you're supposed to take four capsules with every morning meal, but I just take four at night along with my birth control. My back literally cleared up and I still get breakouts, but like once every three months. Like it has changed my life. And when I say a breakout, I legit mean just like one little, like one little doop and it's gone. My skin has cleared up tremendously. I still do have little like blackheads right here and my skin tone is uneven. Like this isn't meant to like cure all everything, but it does balance out your hormones. And I feel like that's exactly what I needed for my breakouts on my back and on my face, even though it was a little bit less than on my back. I am shaking up my skincare routine and I am trying something a little bit new, which I'm excited. So if you want a more in depth video on that, definitely let me know in the comments below and you'll get it because um, I have a lot to share and it's exciting. Do you still wear tape and extensions? Came across one of your old videos. Yes, if done right, tape and extensions will not ruin your hair. My hair has not gotten any thinner. It hasn't gotten weaker. Growing up having thin hair and not that much of it was an insecurity of mine. I would put my hair up in a ponytail and it would literally be this thin. Like, I'm not kidding. It would get brought up a lot. It was just one of my own insecurities. Literally anyone else with thin hair like could rock that and I just couldn't, like I couldn't do it. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm over it. I'm gonna try and tape and extensions just once. And if if it ruins my hair, I won't do it, that's it, that's done. But I would just wanna try it out to see how it works. And it has not done anything bad to my hair. They literally don't bother me, the weight doesn't bother me. The one thing is that make sure you can upkeep it, make sure you have a budget set aside for your hair. Worst thing about Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Just one of the worst things about social media in general, and I think you all can agree on this, is that people will assume that they know your life. Everybody shares what goes on in their life to a certain extent, and I think people forget that, that 
you're only seeing what people let you see or what people want you to see. So they just assume that everything's great or that everything's bad or they take things out of context. I think that's one of the worst things on the internet is that people just assume that they know you or they know what you're going through or they know what you've been through just through a handful of posts or a tweet or a video or something like that or something you said when that's not the case at all. And I feel like anybody could relate to that because we all have social media, we all share things and I'm pretty sure assumptions have been made about everybody because of the internet. So I would say that is probably one of the worst things in general that everybody probably has to deal with. Now we have a question about my Bite Me merch. Hey, snag it up if you haven't. And this isn't self promo, like someone legit asked me this. Do you know when the other stuff for your Bite Me merch is coming out? Me and my merch team have been kind of brainstorming new products that we wanna release because it is getting a little bit warmer, also new colors. And also I have this new spin on the current design that I have out right now. I absolutely love how the merch turned out. The launch was very successful. People loved it. I really wanted this merch to be as casual as possible. I didn't want anything with my name on it. I wanted you to be able to wear it casually to the gym. I didn't want it to be like, oh, I'm wearing merch. I wanted it to be like, look at this cute stylish piece. And that's exactly what it ended up being. Like my boyfriend wears my merch to his school sometimes. Like he has his own hoodie and it's very cute that he supports me. But he'll come back from his uni classes and he'll tell me that people were asking him if he got his hoodie from Urban Outfitters or PacSun. And he just goes, no, this is my girlfriend's merch. And that just makes me so happy because I wanted it to be like that. Not to give myself a pat on the back or anything, but like kinda, you know? <laughs> I wanted my merch to look so cute that people would be like, oh, you bought that at like an Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is one of my favorite stores. The fact that someone thinks that my merch came from an Urban Outfitters are you kidding me? That's the goal with this next merch release. I do have some really cute ideas and I just know that you guys will love it. So if you wanna be updated on that, then follow me on my Instagram because I will probably be posting a lot about it when the release date is finally live. And if you wanna check out my current merch, it's at shopelizabethzucks.com. All right, I'm done promoting myself. Next question. What is my go-to late night snack? You guys are gonna think it's so gross, but if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you see me posting this on my stories all the time. Hot Cheetos and green olives. We all wanna know when you'll start streaming. Listen, streaming, I wanna start streaming on Twitch so bad. Another part of me knows that I'm very busy and I'm only gonna keep on getting busier. So to add another thing on my plate, it's not necessarily that I won't have fun doing it, but I just wanna start something and be consistent with it because if you guys know your girl, the one thing she's great at doing is starting something and not finishing it or being very hella inconsistent. So I'm trying to avoid that and I just wanna plan out the perfect start time so I can start and I know that I could keep that up because I just know it won't be my first priority because there's so many other things on my priority list right now. A lot of things that I'm starting, not only my merch but other stuff. And so I don't wanna start something and half-ass it. Now this question I've been getting a lot and I have been answering them privately um, if I get DMs about it, but I figured I would just answer it in this YouTube video just to clear the air, speak my truth, get it over with, get the truth out there. It's not that serious. But one of the main questions is, am I still with Gymshark? As you may have guessed, because I haven't been posting them on my Instagram as much and they're not in my bio anymore, I am no longer with Gymshark. There's no drama, there's no bad blood between us. I still have so much love for the company, but they did drop me. Last year was a really tough year for me and I was going through a lot and the mental struggles that I was trying to deal with um, put the gym down a couple notches on my priority list. Although I still did try to produce fitness content and when I did produce try on hauls or content for Gymshark, it was a little unique and fun and out there. Um, but I guess I just didn't fit that fitness only or mostly fitness type of mold anymore. Looking back now, getting dropped was kind of a push in the right direction to get me out of my comfort zone and to finally be able to do the things that I've always wanted to do. Not that Gymshark ever stopped me from doing that, but now it's kind of like a push. Do it. I really don't want this to be a sob story because it's not, but I am going to be honest with you, like I always am. And one of the reasons why I didn't bring it up for quite some time is because I was kind of going through it. When they did first drop me, I felt as if I was going in a downwards spiral because not only was I struggling with my mental health for the past year, but because of my mental health um, and me not being able to deal with it properly. See, I'm getting emotional because it's just annoying for me. I'm annoyed at myself. But to also lose like a close partnership, a close relationship with a company that has basically been there since day one because I couldn't learn to deal with Ah, ahem. 
stop crying. I don't want this to turn into a sob story, but like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and obviously they weren't like, we're dropping you because of your mental health. They were dropping me because I just didn't fit into that mold anymore and that's understandable obviously they're a brand but it was just hard on me because i basically let my mental health struggles affect so much of my life to the point where i lost a partnership that i didn't see me losing anytime soon i'm literally only crying because of how hard i was on myself not because of Jim Shark. i swear to god literally it has nothing to do with Jim Shark. um i'm just very emotional but like not emotional when I'm supposed to be like it's so weird <laughs> and I know that you shouldn't do this But I couldn't help but blame myself for having Mental health issues, you know and like that's messed up like no one should blame themselves for having that, you know I still love the company. I still love the people I'm still in contact with the workers with the girls that I've met through Gymshark the athletes I'm still friends with everybody I'm beyond grateful for Gymshark because if it wasn't for Gymshark I probably wouldn't have met half of the people that I have met through Gymshark and I wouldn't have such amazing friends for presenting me with opportunities to meet you guys. This in no way was supposed to be like a sob story and I'm sorry if it came off that way. I'm just emotional sometimes, but that's the reason why I'm no longer with Gymshark. I just didn't fit the mold anymore because my priorities were in a different place. They told me that there were future opportunities for us to work together and I am incredibly grateful for that. It was just very hard for me and I don't know necessarily how to explain it. Hopefully I explained it enough to where you could understand where I'm coming from. It was just I was going through a lot mentally and because of what I was going through mentally, I stopped fitting into that mold and then I got dropped and then it was just another thing to deal with. I couldn't help but blame everything. If you start crying again, my eyelash fell off. Girl. Eyelash fell off. Girl, you better stop crying. Your eyelash is falling off. <laughs> I am done being emotional for now. And dramatic, next question. <laughs> Do you have any tips on how to cope with anxiety while at the gym? I've been going to the gym for quite some time and I still have anxiety when I go to the gym most of the time. To avoid feeling anxious at the gym, go with a friend. That is my number one. Get your workout in at a time when no one is there. So either early in the morning or like an hour and a half before they close, whatever is more comfortable and safe for you. Have your workout planned and ready, written in your notes exactly what you're going to do. Have your headphones in. Just try to zone out as much as possible. Especially if you're a little bit new to the gym, I remember I would write down my workout. I would take screenshots exactly of what I'd want to do. And so I had it because if I didn't, I'd walk into the gym, I'd get anxious and I'd forget everything that I wanted to do. Like my head would go blank. Like I wouldn't even remember one leg workout because I would be so nervous. I would want to go home. I'd be like, I can't do this anymore. This was great. Goodbye everyone. See you never. Cancel my membership. I'm never coming here again. Those are my top three suggestions to help avoid anxiety at the gym. Next question, and I've been getting a lot of these, is if I'm gonna be starting my own clothing line, my own bikini line, my own leggings line. And all I have to say is that one of those is true. There are a lot of exciting things coming up and I'm very, very excited about it. Last question we have is, can I be the last question? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I filled you guys in on everything that's been going on in my life. If there's any other videos that you want to see, be sure to let me know. If you want a relationship Q&A with my boyfriend, then definitely let me know in the comments below as well. Just a little reminder that my merch is still available on shopelizabethzax.com and all of my fitness guides are available on easyfitguide.com, at-home guides, for the gym guides, booty guides. It's all there, baby. Check it out. All right, I'm going to end the video here. Remember, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.